Now, this is an old story from Europe that, among other things, might teach you about how to deal with wishes and whether you might really want them after all. You see, once there was a woodcutter, and his job was very simple. He would go into the forest and cut down a tree and chop it up for firewood for people to burn in their fireplaces. One day, he went out into the forest and saw the perfect tree to turn into firewood. He went there, looked it up and down, drew back his axe, but before he could swing it to cut the tree, a voice cried out, wait, no, don't. And he looked to the right and left and up and down, and there in front of him on the ground was a little man, a tiny man, no more than a foot tall. And the little man said, please, please, this is one of my favorite trees. Could you cut a different one down? If you are willing to do that, I'll, I'll give you three wishes. Well, the woodcutter thought, that would be wonderful. My wife and I might get something good out of it. And the little man said, fine, three wishes for you and your wife. Please take them, just spare this tree. The woodcutter said he would, and he went off and found a different tree to cut down, and he took the wood home, preparing to sell it the next day. Well, when he got home, dinner wasn't ready. His wife was still working in the kitchen. She'd been very busy all day, and, well, you know, things get in the way, and dinner was late. But the woodcutter was hungry, and he complained to his wife, I'm starving. I want some food. I wish that there was a plate full of sausage right in front of me right now. And there was a plate with a great big sausage on the plate. And he thought, uh-oh, I think I just wasted a wish. And his wife came in from the kitchen and there was a plate with a sausage on it in front of her husband. And she said, where did you get that? Well, you see, I, I sort of made a mistake and wished for it, and the wish was granted because there was a little man in the forest, and I didn't cut down his tree, and he granted us three wishes, and the wife said, granted three wishes, and you used it. How could you waste a wish on a, a sausage? And she began to rant and rave and yell at her husband over such a terrible thing, but as she was ranting and raving at her husband, she said, I wish that sausage was stuck to your nose. And bloop, there was a great big sausage stuck to the end of the woodcutter's nose. The wife realized in horror that she had wasted a wish too, and so they tried to cut the sausage off. And when they tried to cut the sausage off his nose, ow! It wasn't just stuck to his nose, it was part of his nose. And if they tried to cut it off, it would hurt and it would bleed. Oh. Well, they thought about leaving the sausage on his nose and thought about how silly that would be. And so together they said, we wish this sausage was back on the plate. And poop, it was no longer on his nose, but sitting nicely there on a plate, ready to eat. Well, the woodcutter and his wife didn't get rich from the wishes. They didn't get a fine house. They didn't get horses to drive them around in a wonderful carriage. All they got was a nice sausage for dinner and a lesson about how to use your wishes. But if they ever got three more wishes, well, they never did. But they learned and they ate well that one night. And that was the story of the three wishes.